Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video. In this episode, we're going to discuss a few questions that many aspiring engineers often ask. Is there a minimum GPA requirement for taking the Fundamentals of Engineering or FE exam? And for those who need to retake the FE exam, how many opportunities are available in a year? This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. So let's start with the first question on everyone's mind. Is there a minimum GPA requirement for taking the FE exam? The short answer is no. There's no national minimum GPA requirement set by the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, or NCEES, the organization that administers the FE exam. However, it's important to note that individual states and specific engineering disciplines might have their own GPA requirements. For instance, in California, the Board for Professional Engineers and Land Surveyors, also known as BPELS, mandates that all FE exam applicants have a cumulative GPA of 2.5 or higher in their engineering coursework. Meanwhile, in Texas, the Professional Engineers and Land Surveyors Board, or TBPLS, sets a slightly higher bar with a GPA requirement of 2.8 or higher in engineering coursework for applicants who graduated before 2023. The key takeaway here is that these requirements can vary from one location to another, so it's essential to check with your state's Board of Engineering to determine if any GPA requirements exist for the FE exam. If you're uncertain about the specific requirements in your state, you can also consult NCEES for more information. Even though there might not be a universal GPA requirement, it's crucial to maintain a strong academic record to be well prepared for the FE exam. This exam covers a wide range of engineering topics, and having a solid foundation, trust me, is critical to passing. If you're unsure about your readiness, you can take a practice exam to assess your knowledge and skills. There are also numerous FE exam preparation resources available, both online and you may also find them in your university library. Now, let's address the second part of today's question. How many times can you retake the FE exam in one year? According to NCEES policy, you can retake the FE exam once during each testing window with up to three attempts in a 12 month period. Now, the testing windows occur in the following months. January to March, April to June, July to September, and October to December. This means you have multiple opportunities throughout the year, but you can't take the exam more than three times in a calendar year. It's essential to be aware that some states may have additional regulations regarding retaking your FE exam. These could include waiting periods between retakes or other possible conditions. To ensure that you're following your state's specific requirements, it's advisable to reach out to your state board of engineering and survey. As for some tips on retaking the FE exam, here are a few. Number one, make sure you have a solid grasp of the material. The FE exam is challenging, so thorough preparation is vital to your success. There are plenty of resources available, as I mentioned, including review books, online courses, and practice exams to help you prepare effectively. Number two, identify your weaknesses. After your first attempt, review your results and pinpoint the areas where you need improvement. Concentrate your study efforts on these areas. And that's really true for your entire career. Number three, 
take a practice exam before your retake. This will help you assess your progress and identify any lingering weak points. And make sure that practice exam is under timed conditions. That wraps up today's episode on FE exam requirements and retakes. I hope you now have a clearer understanding of what's expected when it comes to those GPA requirements and retaking your FE exam. Remember, while there might not be a national GPA requirement, there may be local ones, and strong academic preparation can make all the difference on exam day and throughout your engineering career. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we'll answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam, we'll publish videos weekly, so please be sure that you click that subscribe button as you will get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below this video, and I will read and respond to them in future videos like I did in this one. Maybe there's a specific topic that you want me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.